Should the United States have been completely blindsided by the launch of Sputnik? Maybe not. We're talking about the International Geophysical Year today on Vintage Space. The International Geophysical Year, or IGY, ran from July of 1957 to December of 1958. It was a period of international scientific cooperation coincident with a period of high solar activity. The idea was for international partners to set up research stations around the world concentrating on the equator and all gather data on solar phenomena in this peak period of activity. The data would then be shared for the benefit of science around the world. After the end of the Second World War, when international relations were slowly being repaired, scientists around the world were eager for another international collaboration, and so pitched the idea in 1950 of a third international polar year. But because a solar maximum was approaching, a period of peak solar activity, consensus was to change the idea from the international polar year to an international geophysical year, where international nations would study the sun. The United States officially agreed to partake in the International Geophysical Year in 1954, and by early 1955 there were 55 participating nations, but not the Soviet Union. As planning progressed, the United States started looking at the idea of studying the sun with high-altitude instruments. The initial idea was to use raccoons, small rockets launched from altitude after being raised by hot air balloons. The idea of raccoon flights eventually gave way to satellite launches. The idea was that with a satellite in space, scientists would be able to observe the sun and global phenomenon free from interference from the Earth's atmosphere. The United States announced its plan to launch a satellite as part of its IGY activities in August of 1955 during a meeting in Copenhagen. During that meeting, U.S. delegates also showed the Disneyland Man in Space episode, and Soviet delegates in attendance, even though the Soviet Union was still technically not an IGY participating nation, asked if they could take a copy of the movie back to the Soviet Union. They said it would be a great reference to have on hand, but there is speculation that they also wanted it so they would have a better idea of where the American technology was. It was during that same meeting in Copenhagen that Soviet delegates announced the Soviet Union's intention to launch a satellite as part of its own IGY activities. This was immediately followed by boastful pronouncements that any Soviet satellite would be done faster and would be far more sophisticated than any American offering. Few paid attention to these boastful pronouncements, but maybe if some American delegates had, they would have been less surprised by Sputnik's launch. So what do you guys think? Should the United States have been as surprised by the launch of Sputnik as it was? It's a little bit of a fun thought experiment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, leave me any questions or ideas you have for future episodes. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space for daily Vintage Space content. And with a new video going up every week, subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.